7.6, which is designed for in-plane shear. Uh, we have VU, which is the shear strength, obviously having a portion of shear from the concrete, which is VUC plus uh, VUS, which is the shear strength contribution from the steel. And we had the VU max or the maximum shear strength is 0.2 times strength of the concrete times 0.8 times length times the thickness of the wall. To be taking out the minimum of 0 0.0, sorry, 0.5 times the height of the wall or 0.5 times the length of the wall. So section 11.6.3, uh, here we have the VUC comp, which is the shear strength of the concrete. So for the case where the height on the height of the wall divided by the length of the wall is less than one, so this won't be a very long wall, is 0.66 times the strength of the concrete minus 0.21 height of the wall divided by the length of the wall times the strength of the concrete and the function of the length of the wall and the thickness of the wall. And then also for the height on the wall uh, divided by the length of the wall, if it's greater than one, we have a uh, slightly different equation here, but is not to be less than 0.17 times the strength of the concrete square root of times 0.8 length of the wall times thickness of the wall. In section 11.7, .7, we have the reinforcement requirements for walls. So uh, looking at the standards and the commentary, the major points are for the vertical direction, so the vertical reinforcement, we need a minimum of 1.5% uh, of the cross-sectional area of the wall as reinforcement, and for the horizontal direction, we need a minimum reinforcement ratio of 2.5%. So the minimum requirements is provided to control shrinkage and uh, thermal effects in, uh, in addition to the strength. So for a minor degree of crack control, we need rho W to, or the reinforcement ratio to be 0 0.0025 and moderate degree, we need 0 0.0035 and strong degree 0 0.006. Uh, uh, the minimum spacing of the reinforcement is three times the diameter of the bar, which is very rare to get to that uh, limited spacing. And the maximum of two and a half times the thickness of the wall or 350 millimetres.